Once I'm on my feet, I realize escape might not be so simple. Panic begins to set in. I can't stay here. Flight is essential, but I can't let my fear show. You don't forget the face of the person who is your last hope. So I'm filming my Katniss Everdeen makeup parent outfit inspired video of my sister. She has been like the tech person. She's gonna help me insert the music and she did all the video clips and stuff so um, I'm very proud of her with that. So round of applause for her. Thumbs up for this video. This took a long, long time to film and I bet it's gonna take a long time to edit and upload. Um, my outfit inspired just has my District 12 bracelet and my Mockingjay pin. My leather jacket that's brown from Forever 21. My Girl on Fire shirt from Hot Topic. Some like khaki pants from H&M. And then this like distressed kind of belt that's been really worn out. And um, yeah, from Garage. And then my boots are just combat brown, dark, like thick leather boots from Forever 21 as well. Um, this whole outfit was very affordable and everything. My makeup is so simple, like you can't even tell I'm wearing any. Um, Cause Katniss Everdeen in the movie, she doesn't really wear any makeup when she's like running through the fort. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it so I know to do videos like this in the future. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy and mwah, comment, rate, subscribe, follow me on Twitter. All that jazz. So for a start off with a clean face, I'm using my Sappho Liquid Foundation in the shade Kate. Next, taking a small kabuki brush, I'm swirling this into my Rimmel Natural Bronzer and applying that all over the face. Putting my MAC Painterly Paint Pot as a base all over the lid. With a flat shader brush, I'm going to be using my Sappho Cosmetics eyeshadow in the shade Sweet Haley. Then applying it all over the lid. Taking a crease blender brush, I'm swirling this into my Sappho Cosmetics Single Shadow in the color Coastal and applying this in the crease. Next, taking an angled eye eyeshadow brush, putting it in a matte highlight from Wet n Wild and putting it all over the brow bone. Next, I'm taking an angled eye shadow brush and using an Essence brow powder to fill in my brows. Taking a light brown eyeliner from Maybelline in the color Cinnabar and putting it on the upper lash lines of my lids. Next, just taking my eyelash curler and curling my lashes. To finish this simple eye look, I'm taking my Rimmel Day to Night Mascara and using the lengthening side of my mascara wand. Taking the Sappho makeup brush, dipping it into my NYX Cream Blush in Glow and then taking my Sappho Cosmetics blush to set the blush in the color Fleur. To finish off this look, I'm taking my NYX Lipstick in the shade Tea Rose. So now I'm just doing a French braid across Clarissa's head, starting from the right side of her head and working my way to the left side, 
going along the back of her head. Most of my inspiration of like my makeup hair and outfit came from this Hunger Games, the official illustrated movie companion book. So like we have some shots in this video of like near the train tracks and near trees. I was mostly inspired by what she was wearing when she was actually hunting. So like her brown leather jacket and her big brown combat boot type of things. I don't know if you can tell. Um, yeah, but there's just a bunch of stuff in here that I got inspiration from. See, there she's wearing like shorter combat boots. And she's running and she has more khaki pants on. So, I tried to do that as well. Um, we tried to film near like a train station, train area. Yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe, and make sure to give this a thumbs up if you like these types of videos. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I think I already said that, so I'm gonna go. Bye, guys! Happy Hunger Games, and may the odds be ever in your favor.